How old are you? 97. I'll be 98 in October. <laughs> I live in a retirement community. And we used to have a bus here to take people to the grocery store twice a week. And they gave that bus up, I don't know why. So a lot of people were stuck around here. Like my neighbor Joyce, who was a very shy person. She said to me, well, if they don't get another bus, they'll find another place for me to live. And she says, I just don't want to go anywhere else. I said, Joyce, I'll get you to the grocery store every week. But I lost my driver's license because somebody thought I was too old. But I didn't have a mark against me at all. I was heartbroken at that. I really was. It made me feel old. It made me feel useless. I am a good driver. I really am. I, I'm not fearful when I drive, but I'm very careful. You're a hot driver? No. Do you drag race a lot? Well, I drive 65, but I obey the rules, so I went to get it back. You make a promise, it's important for me to, to keep that promise if it's possible. <laughs> and I passed it. I'm on the earth, I'm here. If I can contribute, I should. Shouldn't we all? And not just think of ourselves? It's supposed to get real cold. Like I say, I don't have money to give, but I can give myself and my time. A lot of people in the world who don't have anybody who cares about them. So that's the way I felt. <laughs> We're asked to love our neighbor, be a friend. That will give you joy. I mean, I don't do this, so you think I'm great. I don't even think of that. My daughter says, Mother, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. And I'll say, well, okay. And like I say, I do what I please. I wouldn't do anything dangerous, but you know. <laughs> How about a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea and a muffin? Oh, I'm good. No, I'm yeah, good, thank you. <laughs> Oh. Sounds like a big wasp coming. Oh, she's trimming. <clears throat> they do the. She is trimming. Wow. Yeah, they do the yard on Mondays. <laughs>